Hi, I'm Natalie with Eminence Organic Skin Care and welcome back to In The Mix. And today is all about how do you treat your dry skin. I know quite a few out there are probably suffering from this. And dry skin can be very finicky, it can be a pain, and it can be very difficult in finding the right product because different seasons can make the skin really, really, really dry or just regular dry. And we could be going through a lot of changes in our home care routine and also looking for those quick fixes. And sometimes some of us have dry skin just from travel. So it could be from, if any of you out there do travel a lot, um, you'll know that being in an airplane or just in hotels and commuting and switching your climates quite frequently can cause a bit of havoc on the skin and your skin can start to feel quite dry. We also may live in environments that are already dry in climate, making it even harder for our skin to stay moisturized. And then some of us may not be using the right products that are keeping the skin from drying out after it's been moisturized. So you may notice that you'll put on a moisturizer maybe in the morning and you're like, okay, this is really working for me, but it doesn't matter what you try to do after that. Within you know a few hours, the skin seems to have like drank up all that moisturizer and you're almost back to square one. So I really wanna give you some help today in selecting really good products for your skin, depending on maybe it's just as simple as your environment, it could be as simple as seasonal changes, or maybe your skin has just become drier due to different kinds of reasons. It could be from medications, it could just be from your hormonal changes, from natural aging process. So we can have lots of reasons why the skin can become dry and we also have to recognize that we were born dry. Uh, and we also may start to see some conditions in the skin as well. So if any of you out there are also um, experiencing some redness or some flakiness from the dry skin, we also have some solutions for you there. Let's talk about what is a dry skin. A dry skin just simply is that your skin is not producing a lot of oil. So you're producing a very small amount of oil. This is why your pores generally look really, really tiny. Uh, so it's a great, great way to recognize if your dry skin is if you're looking in the mirror and you really can't see your pores at all. This is a good sign that your skin isn't producing a lot of oil leaving your skin dry. Another thing we might see is if your skin feels quite dry and flaky or looks dry and flaky, kind of chalky in color, uh, but you still get oily, there's a sign here that you may not be as dry as you think. You may just be more dehydrated, meaning that you don't have enough water balance in your skin. And if you've seen some of my past in the mix videos, you may have heard me speak to you about the importance of making sure you have a very good balance of water in your skin as well as oil in your skin. So my first tip to any of you with dry skin out there is please ensure that you're also using products that are gonna uplift the hydration or the water content into your skin, which which then will also help with managing the oil content into your skin. Because if you're missing a lot of water, your skin might be struggling and you can look very dehydrated and dry at the same time, giving you that kind of itchy, flaky kind of red look to your skin. Using um, a serum is a great place to plop in that hydration level and then putting a nice moisturizer that is more oil rich over the top. This gives you a really good balance in between. For your routines, you want to start with your cleanser. Now cleansing, if you're a dry skin, look for something a little on the richer side. We have our gorgeous wildflower cleansing balm. So the cleansing balms I like because they're kind of like a thicker cream that turns into an oil when you warm it in your hand and you apply it. Our wildflower cleansing balm is special because when you finish removing it, uh, you're gonna actually feel like the skin has a little bit of a moisturizer on it. So it's gonna have a nice weight to it, already creating relief and allowing that skin to feel moisturized just after the cleanser. Moving on to another option for hydrating the skin. So you could use the wildflower cleansing balm and then do a double cleanse right after that if you wish. So that's for those of you who may not want to have that extra moisturizing effect after the cleanser. Grab that stone crop, which is super hydrating, and then you wanna go immediately afterwards. You're not gonna lose water. You're not gonna remove any excess oils that you need in your skin. It's just gonna give you a next level cleansing to your skin. 
toner, uh, there's a couple. Uh, there is our Neroli Hydrating Mist, which is going to have a little bit more weight to it. It has some coconut oil in there. It's going to give you just a little bit more of a moisturizer. This one is hydrating. This is our Stone Crop Hydrating Mist. So for those of you who are dry, I recommend having a couple of toners in your home care routine. One for sure is the Stone Crop, and the other one would be the Neroli is where I would grab. Then when I'm just looking at my buffet of deliciousness here, uh, another thing that comes to play often to really help restore dry is looking at a sleep mask. So something that you could put on before you go to sleep that's a little bit more dense, a little bit richer for the skin. And we have this beautiful yellow sweet clover anti-redness mask. Don't let the anti-redness distract you. <laughs> Just know that it has a lot of qualities to bring that richness and that oil back to the skin. And you'll wake up and the skin will be even in skin tone. And you're gonna have a very plump fit without any drying effect. So this is a cream mask. This is why it's one of my favorites as a sleep mask. So definitely go for that. And you could do it every night if you want to, especially as seasons change, we're gonna see a drop in oil and water in the skin so your skin can look quite dry. So this is definitely a great tool to have. If you're not gonna go the sleep mask route, a couple of things that you can consider is a beautiful night cream. Just to back up for a second, the reason why I'm recommending night products at this moment is because when we sleep, we, we lose two times the amount of water in our skin. So you can imagine, if you're already dry, you already don't have a lot of oil in your skin, and you're losing water as you sleep, this is why in the morning you feel like, oh, tight, a bit chalky, a little bit drier. So we wanna make sure we can avoid all of that as much as possible. So a couple of options for you is you can go right for a beautiful concentrate or like a nighttime serum-esque type of treatment. And this is our Lavender Age Corrective Night. Hey, it smells like lavender. It's gonna just like make you sleep like a baby. Um, but a couple of pumps on your skin after it's cleansed, toned, essence, and a light serum if you like. Apply a couple pumps and just let it lay on the skin like silk. Then you can go right for it and put on a beautiful nighttime cream. This is the Minoya Age Corrective. Uh, so beautiful harmony, lavender age corrective night the Minoya Age Corrective. They will work very good together and this is quite luxurious and a lot of weight to it. You'll love this. Another option, we have our Lotus Detoxifying Overnight Treatment. This could be for someone who also has a lot of environmental stressors. So let's say you spend a majority of your time outdoors. Maybe you like to ski. Maybe you are spending your time hiking outside in nature where the elements can be affecting the hydration or the water content and the oil content of your skin. This is another option as an overnight care versus maybe using a sleep mask. So this would be some alternative choices for you out there. Uh, if you like to do a home treatment a couple times a week that maybe can be used after you mask, I love our Linden and Calendula treatment cream. Uh, for my estheticians out there, I just wanted to share, this is a really beautiful product for you to consider when you're doing a facial massage. Very um, effective, very moisturizing, and is really going to replenish your client's skin. For you at home, beautiful to leave on, a little bit heavier after you mask. It's like hung Hungary is like medicine. I just love it. It's very classic. It's been with us for a very long time. T uh, tried, tested, and true. A definite keeper and really a beautiful product for any of you to consider if you have extremely dry skin. Last but not least, I'm sure you're wondering when I'm gonna bring it up, is if you've layered everything, you've done, for example, your lavender, and then you plopped on your Minoy, and you still feel like, Nat, it still isn't enough. Okay, I get it. Ta-da! You're gonna grab facial recovery oil. Literally, my friends, one or two drops in the palm of your hand, so you got all your goods on. You're gonna do one or two drops, like literally one, two. Warm it up in the palm of your hands like this. Now, don't wipe it. I just want you to press. You're gonna press it over on top. Why pressing is the oil is naturally gonna travel. And I often ask why oil over moisturizer? Why not the oil first? 
I just think that the oil is going to make it through the moisturizer. It might take a little longer for a moisturizer to make it through the oil, but the oil will make it through and give you that extra density of moisture that you're looking for. For all my dry skins out there and a couple of tips for my estheticians in the treatment room with these seasonal changes, I hope you can embrace some of these new ideas, incorporate some of the products that you're already using at home, maybe in a different way. You can still do your exfoliation, you can still do your masks, but my main focus here is how do we really avoid that dryness we wake up in the morning and how do we really prepare our skin so that we can have more comfort when we're dealing with dry skin. So there you have it. I hope you really enjoyed In The Mix this time. It's Natalie with Eminence Organic Skin Care and if you want to see more of these don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that little notification bell and I will catch you next time.